Hi everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you how to make this terracotta pot. Okay. Um, all you need is some um, cotton yarn and um, I'm using burnt orange but you can use any colour you like. A yarn needle, 3mm crochet hook and some scissors. Okay, to start you want to make a slip knot. And chain 2. Okay, I'll leave a link in the description for my beginners playlist. All right. Um, go back into the first chain that you made and make six single crochets. Pull the tail tight and in the next row we want to increase each stitch so we'll go from six single crochets to 12 so you just want to put two single crochets in each stitch around In the next row you want to increase from 12 single crochets to 18. So you need to put one single crochet in the first stitch. And one single, uh, two single crochets in the next stitch. Okay, so it's one single crochet in the first stitch and one increase in the second stitch all the way along. So now we have 18 single crochets around, we need to increase to 24. So one single crochet in the first stitch, one single crochet in the second stitch, and one increase in the third stitch. Okay, so you need to do two single crochets and an increase all the way along until you get back to the stitch marker. In the next row you want to increase from 24 to 30 single crochets. So 6 
single crochet three and one increase in the fourth one. Okay, so three single crochets and an increase until you get back to the stitch marker. Okay, now that we've increased to 30 single crochets around, we're going to single crochet in the back loops only. So just in these ones here. So instead of going through both loops like we normally do, we're going to go through the top and just pick up the back loop and then single crochet. Okay. And through the center of the stitch and single crochet in the back loop so you've got these all the front loops here okay so there's no increases it's just single crochet in the back loops Okay, so after that row, it should look like this, with all the front loops there. Uh, the next thing you need to do is you just need to single crochet 30 around for three rows. Okay, so just three rows of single crochet. So I'll do that and I'll come back and show you how it looks. Okay, so this is how it looks after my three rows. Uh, in the next row, we need to increase from 30 to 33. So I'm going to single crochet nine. And then I'm going to add an increase in the next stitch okay so it's nine single crochets and one increase So you just do that three times and they'll take you back to the stitch marker. All right, so once you've increased to 33, you just need to do one row of single crochet all the way along. Okay, so just one row of 33. Okay, so I increased to 33 and then I did one row of single crochet around. And the next row we need to increase from 33 to 36. So single crochet 10. 
and an increase. Okay, so you just repeat that three times until you get back to the stitch marker. So single crochet 10 and an increase in the next stitch. Okay, so I've increased to 36. Now I'm just going to do one row of single crochet. Okay, so just one in each stitch. In the next row, I'm going to change it a little bit. So I'm going to put my increase first. Increase in the first stitch. And then single crochet 11. Okay, so that'll take us from 36 to 39. Okay, so it's one increase, single crochet 11. Okay, so now that I've increased to 39, I'm just going to do one row of single crochet around. Okay, so I increased to 39 and I did one row of 39 single crochets around. And the next row is going to be a dif different, so single crochet 6. Okay, uh, one increase in the next stitch. Okay, single crochet 12. One increase in the next stitch. Single crochet 12 again. Okay, one increase in the next stitch. And single crochet six should take you back to the stitch marker. Okay, so 
I'm still increasing by three. So we've gone from 39 to 42. So I did six single crochets and an increase, 12 single crochets and an increase, 12 single crochets, increase, and then six single crochets. Okay. Okay, so now that you've increased to 42, we just need to do two rows of 42. Right, so just one single crochet in each stitch for two rows. And then I'll come back and show you how that looks. Okay, so this is how it looks after I've done my two rows of 42. Depending on what you're using this for, you might need to add some weight to the inside of the pot. Okay, so like a flat rock or a little bag of rice. Okay, just depends what you're using it for. So in the next row, I'm going to slip stitch into the next stitch. Okay, chain one. And then I'm going to go into the front loop only and single crochet. Okay, so just single crochet in the front loops all the way along. So go under the stitch. Okay, so now that I am back to where my stitch marker is, one last one here. Okay, so I don't know if you can see it, but I have my slip stitch and my chain, my slip stitch and my chain one. Skip over those and single crochet into the first one that you did from the last row. Okay, and now we just need to single crochet for two more rows. Okay, so no increases, just two more rows of single crochet. Okay, okay, so once you've finished those two rows of 42, just cut your yarn, pull it through. Okay, so you want to skip this stitch and go under both loops of the next stitch. Okay, and then in the last stitch that you made, go through the back loop only. Okay, and then you just need to weave in your tail and turn this bit over. Okay, so if you can't find one of these in the shop, at least you know how to make it. Okay, uh, you could add little eyes and a mouth. Um, let me know if you want to see cactus or flowers. I can just make a pattern. Okay, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.